Hello my soccer universe, feeling like a superhero with my Granada shirt, <laughs> I just said it. it's, it's such a weird cut, again prototype shirt. Uh, I was actually debating whether I should do it like I did for the France video, because we will have Atletico Madrid in that and I take the shirt of last year's champion and wear it like I did for Lille, which is something that doesn't happen too often and use an other teams in the thumbnail or if I should go and just uh, wear a random team random team team that is in the review and take it from there and decide it on the latter because it's just a whole lot more fun uh, wearing different teams than just your typical top four in Spain and in Spain we clearly have only a we have a top four and then the rest tries to catch up but we have to see how successful they will be as for the you see here all my la liga jerseys most of my la liga jerseys there's a whole lot of barcelona and a, a madrid shirt that is not in there i think also a valencia shirt is missing that you saw in the uh, i showed you in my uh on sunday but as I said back back then, I don't have 13 different teams yet, which is for me a goal for that up until next uh, to next season's review that I really have at least 13, if not 14 uh, Spanish teams. So to have to be able to have only one shirt on the back up there. So that would be really, really nice if I could manage that. Let's see uh, how it will work out. Any case, a lot of blabble already. Um, how did I choose the teams that are in this video? I do it as L. Every time I just take last season standings and then I go 1, 2, 3, 4, 3, uh, 4, 3, 2, 1, and so on and so forth. And the teams with a 1 next to it are the ones that you will find in this video. And then I jumble them in some uh, order. We have in this video champions Atletico Madrid, we have Celta Vigo, we have Granada, and then we have Alaves and Elche. So quite an eclectic mix. I think it's quite interesting. I will jump in. We'll start with Alaves, which is one regret because I would have looked at an Alaves shirt, not a home shirt to get uh, during, during the summer, but I failed at shipping because they don't ship to Austria. They only ship to like uh, countries immediately surrounding Spain and um, Great Britain. So Italy, I think they would have Italy, France, Portugal and Great Britain. That was what I got from the Calvary web page. So Fortunate. I actually have, have to say, I mean, this is, I think, I'm not sure if it's a centenary shirt or, over there, but like, this is a really nice looking Kelma shirt I have. So I really like the half half look. I mean, I do prefer my Alaves a little, a little bit, little bit more, more striped, but for a one off uh, for one of one season, I really like it. I especially like how the collar is even split. Makes a really, really nice look. And we'll start off with a very, very um, good grade. I would say, let me see, I think we can. Uh, I think, I, and there will be a sponsor on there, but I, I, th I, I think I want to start off here uh, with a nine already because this is really nice. I have to say, Spanish shirts this season will will will, will be quite nice. Not spoiling too nice, not spoiling too much. The away shirt makes total almost total sense. I mean, with the half half a white away shirt, but you know, uh, if you play the blue team, then you can wear a very nice. I really like the double, like a flag, and then you have the crest in the middle. I know it looks asymmetric, but it really looks like uh, a flag. Um, of course, if you look at the Alaves Crest, I would have liked to have it, uh, the colors flip, but I do like it. And there's also this light patterning in there. The color look looks a little bit weird and maybe the Calme Paw could have fit below the crest. Um, but you know, there should be a sponsor there as well. So I guess uh, it makes source or source or sense. I'm, I think I'm gonna go seven. I think uh, Calme is doing a pretty, pretty good job for, uh, for Alaves. Uh, as is the third shirt. I mean, this is Camo, but whenever there's something dark blue, uh, you have me already. I'm not a big fan of Camo shirts to be honest, but I saw it uh, in uh, uh, when they played against Sevilla and that, and that one I have has it a short over looks nice. The one thing that I'm a little bit um, not so happy is that the crest nice instead of blue it is black. I know it's kind of to make the to make the fit with the sleeve cuffs and the collar, but something a little bit off there. But I also, overall, it's a very pleasing shirt, and I have no qualms giving this seven as well. I have to say, Kelme, uh, we're starting off with, with, with a bang thanks to Kelme. Now we're gonna go to the champions, Atletico Madrid. And to be honest, this season's home shirt by itself, I really don't like it. It looks great. 
as a full kit when you have the lighter blue pants this looks absolutely awesome i i, I love the overlook for atletico madrid but uh the jersey by itself with this uh you know this one had already a paintbrush effect and now we have really yeah it didn't go just so well with with the brush it didn't color it looks a little bit smeared uh like you had an athletic shirt on the floor and then yeah well wh wh whatever it looks really 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 weird at least i got the colors because the first uh um uh the first uh, um drafts that i saw had a darker red which i think would not have worked at least they have the red right at least it is striped. i just don't like it it's a three star sorry sorry so sorry to say now the away shirt uh tries to do something a bit uh more but i really like my athletic shirts in dark blue but what is this coming from from bottom i think last seasons and i honestly a little bit do regret that i didn't get that that one as as well because it really looked nice this one i'm not so i'm not so sold on the over the overall effect it would look look better if they would wear red pants or kind of this pant the this this car 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 pants to have the fade effect but i think they wear this with uh dark blue pants as well so yeah nothing per se wrong but it doesn't make a whole lot of sense to be honest so i'm gonna go five um overall now the third <laughs> i'm laughing because it looks in a way totally ridiculous but i have to say it's probably the best kit that atleti have this season um the color it just looks circus to me i know where the inspiration is coming from but i found we sent the call around the upper ranks you know had here you had on the bottom the blue seats and then on the upper ranks you had the um, uh, red and white seats so uh that looked fine but the color in red and white and then everywhere having this it, it, it looks circus clown to me but i do have have said although this cost me a whole lot of pain when they wanted San Siro where I wear this one this kit actually looks awesome in play I really really like the shade of blue the full color crest uh despite it looking funny I actually really do like it so um and the shade it, it just works I call me crazy but I like it nine stars something good with Atleti happening uh, and then the fourth kit which is I think celebrating the 75th anniversary I'm not sure if it was the first title or the first uh post-war title so the first one under the name Atletico Madrid which uses the uh old style crest which is re 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 really nice and it's kind of a um how to say a knockoff of the um, kit that they were wearing back then which was just plain red it does not make for a very appealing and then it looks like an average jersey and the 75 uh años i mean i don't know not the spanish for, for it also looks a teeny bit off but as a tribute i think it works much better than you would i want to especially note that the color is not one of the nike creations it's just a plain short color it's not a bad jersey on honestly um especially as as, as a true but i think it's one that is more for the atletico madrid fans than the collectors and that's not a bad thing that's not a bad thing so i don't want to be too cri too critical on that one um but i also want to give this the five stars that i gave the away the away was a little bit more exciting and i like the color but i like the tribute character it just feels i know what they try to do. it just feels a little bit cheap overall despite everything good that i said about it but yeah Atletico Madrid 4 it's a so-and-so set with one jersey that really made me smile so there you go uh we'll move on to what is secretly probably my favorite club in Spain and I don't have a jersey yes this is something that has to change I really like Celta I'm not so sure about this Celta's jersey it's mainly down to the accent colors on the jersey I actually do like you know the Adidas template with all this patterning. that's great I actually don't mind that one um but I find the gray accents are a little bit lacking life. I actually like last seasons better and I probably know that I will not be able to get next last seasons that easily. So yeah, uh, I might be stuck with this one in 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 any way. But as, as I said, I mean light blue, yeah, but uh, something's a little bit missing there. Uh, I do like the local sponsor, so that's fine too. I have it actually on this uh, Valladolid shirt too. Valladolid, unfortunately, not in this league uh anymore so yeah six 
Tactics. Uh, the away shirt. Haven't I seen the design somewhere? Yeah, this is exactly what Juventus did, uh, but it was black and white with a pink stripe. I get the half and half, and I get the light blue. Uh, I think it looks better as an away shirt, especially for a Celta. Um, I'm not so sold on the color, to be honest. That's one thing that I'm not so... Uh, yeah, doesn't look all that great. Uh, but other than that, I actually do like the idea and nothing looks really out of place. I do wonder a teeny bit. Would have looked better if the red and the white were flipped so that the crest would pop out a little bit more and you could have a white Adidas. That's maybe the only thing that I would say. And you can already see I am a little bit there, yeah, but I'm gonna give this um, seven stars. It's better than the home shirt, but I want to have a light blue Celta shirt. That's how much I, I can say. Now Elche. <sighs> they were with Hummel. And again, we lose Hummel. Uh, ever since I do the league reviews, I think in the first one I did, uh, the Hummel team was um, via Dolit. They switched to Adidas. Then it was Osasuna. They switched to uh, Adidas. And then it was Elche. And now they're with Nike. And we don't have Hummel in, in any of the La Liga. So I'm a little bit sad about that. I am especially sad since I was not a big fan of last season's LG kids, but they overall looked all right. I also said that this Nike home shirt does not look bad. It has something. I really liked it now that the sponsor is kind of only white on the green. Um, and you know, you have again brush stroke effect. It looks, but it looks a little bit um, more um, designed for the club than being a pure, um, you know, take off the rail uh, jersey. Uh, and, sweat and slap a crab, uh, crest on there. So uh, I'm fine with that. I just say I'm a little bit sorry that we don't have Hummel in La Liga this season. This shirt here, I think, does a fine job. I would, of course, like that the band would go all, all around, but I think it doesn't look uh, bad overall. And I also want to give this seven stars. Where it really gets bad for, for, for me is then for the alternates. I mean, the first alternate is just black and box sponsor. You know, at least give me the band here. Then I would say more, but this is really, I think this is even last season template what Sevilla had. Uh, I cannot I cannot even make it out here. Um, this colored crest is just very, very black. For LG, I would maybe expect a very, very green. So yeah, average, five stars, to be honest. Uh, I don't wanna give it more. Um, and to, and then the third one, yeah, this is green, but this is this luminous green. And then again with the uh, the black, Something just doesn't jive here with me. I think for me, this is uh, in a way worse. Um, and I'm gonna go four stars here. The black, I can get the all black aesthetic, but the luminous green with black, I mean, there should be another color that's a little bit more balancing it out to me. The black kind of takes the vibrancy away. You know, you have a vibrant green color and then you add black and those uh, vibrant and black is kind of the darkest, uh, downest color of the, 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 them all. So doesn't really uh, sit well with me. And we're already the last team who also is with uh, Nike. I was about to say Adidas, Nike, of course. Um, and where we also get a lot of templates. This season's Granada looks much better than last season's where they took kind of what France has uh, currently in red and white. Now, at least the striping is more uh, level. We can, of course, argue uh, with this double red stripe in the white stripe whether this looks good, but I honestly think I like it. What I do miss a little bit, and I know this is not the classic Granada look, but I, I miss a little bit of touch of blue. I really liked when they came up, where they had the red stripe, then a tiny blue, and then a white stripe. I think this looked cool. Uh, now, yeah, stripe hoop, I guess you call it. No, no, not even a yeah, band. Let's call it band. So that's a little bit missing, but overall, I have to say it is a uh, it is a nice, interesting, it's a fun looking uh, jersey. As I said, a little bit of touch of blue could have helped there, but I want to give this seven stars because it really looks overall all right. And then we're stuck with a few templates. I mean, this is what Salzburg is wearing in the Champions League and many other teams white with these weirdly patterned sleeves, although I Gotta say, I'm a little bit now intrigued. I want to get a jersey with these sleeves. <laughs> I have not decided which one yet. Uh, 
who was the, I think Freiburg had a really good one uh, with uh, um, black and then the red shoulders. So yeah, I'm a little bit intrigued by, by, by those, but uh, this is something we'll see a whole lot. Uh, of course, then you have to take the color out and now it's black and white and so where's Granada. Again, I would expect some blue, I don't know that I would expect black, although I have to say when uh, they had the prototype for this Legea shirt, the away jersey was also black and white. So, okay, take it. It's not bad, it's not good, it's just, well, yeah. I put my, I painted myself now in a corner with the Elche shirt, uh, the last one, like giving it four where I want to go with this one as well. Um, yum, yum, yum. But I like it a little bit better, but I think four, five, five is too high. I'm going to go four here. Uh, yeah, let's go four. Then the uh, third shirt, I mean, that's green. That I would have liked for Elche, honestly. Uh, green and gold, another one of those calm combinations, very, very popular. Has nothing to do with Granada, but the shirt overall is kind of pleasing. I do think this works kind of all right as a third alternative but again blue blue please blue white green green and gold i think it's a you see we're going five stars and there we have it the first um batch of la liga jerseys is reviewed i would like to know in the comments below and of course we'll make a poll where you can rate the best set as well but i'm also which shirt jersey of these did you uh, like and especially where you agree and disagree with me there Give me a thumbs up if you enjoyed this video. Subscribe to my channel if you want to see the next few parts, which the next one will cover for come on Saturday. And I will talk to you soon. Bye or Sunday. Hey there, I really hope you enjoyed this video. And if you did, here are some videos and playlists that you actually might enjoy too. Also, please consider subscribing to my channel and hit the little bell so that you get updated whenever something happens in my soccer universe. And with that, have a wonderful day. Bye.